what is vision and why people want to have it all, to feel it. Because many of those who practice say, I want to have a vision. A person doesn't even know what they want this vision for. What is the aim for them to have a vision? What can vision help them with? How to open this vision, to master it, and how to understand it's your vision. That this is no false connection, not be any entity that you have a vision and it's not. For example, there are flows and information, and somebody is telling you, who is this speaking at all? Something of this sort. People also consider this to be a vision when an information flows. Maybe your hand is writing or you do understand it's this way here. So, this information is imposed on you and you are being prompted. And you do understand it's not even you. But is it God who is speaking or Jesus or Buddha or maybe Jesus and Buddha together? It's not quite clear as nobody would confess on the other end. Or maybe take it as an ultimate truth when and the information flows. How to safeguard oneself, or maybe there are any techniques for this purpose? Well, the most appropriate question in this case is to understand who is the one we have an honor to talk to. Because a person having reached a certain level make a sort of some opening and connection. with some domains that are larger than the person is and say they tell something to that person on behalf of God. I'd put it as follows. For me, there are several important aspects in understanding who the person communicates with. The first aspect is their psychic and physical state. In other words, to what extent is a person really healthy? To what extent is a person really... Well, the appearance and the rest, it all has its effect. If we see the person is basically laying and can't get up, and it's very hard, that painful and problematic for him, but it's the divine that's talking via him. I'm not inclined to pay special attention to such aspects. Because unfortunately, from the energy vision perspective, I saw many times when people have no proper internal structure, and proper work of energy centers. It's just like there is an incision in the person's head through which a channel is connected. And via this negative channel, person gets a sort of cartoons, revelations, visions, astrals, flies and fly aways. Besides, the person is being stoned in various ways. Well, sort of this. And when I see a person has at least this centering, he can find the axis, and at least chakras are functioning at some at some 30 to 50 percent and they can go to the resource mode. The shells are proper, that is to say, have no breakthrough or any other damage. And the person says, yes, I sort of feel, is probably... Such people would rather say, I don't see, I just feel. Next, when the stream potential grows, this is when the I feel, I know, and some image emerges. Well, from the Cosmo Energy perspective, it occurs very quickly. If a person works in the respect and masters the frequencies, the black color disappears. An overlapping of some sort occurs in the movements, displacements, and the ether currents are always seen. 
Well, the moment you concentrate on them, that switching over occurs, and there it happens, blossoming. All these stripes, rainbows, this is when the direct vision happens, like that. Of course, it's not with the help of the eyes, our brain complements the pictures seen by our eyes. But the feeling is as if you were seeing some 3D objects with your own eyes. Is there any other vision, apart from Cosmo Energy? There must be some other techniques. I happen to meet the people to practice not just Cosmo Energy. Yes, I did. I also saw such people. And they have their own image in their vision. Yes, they are. Well, in this case, these people are involved with some energy techniques anyway. They do stream stuff. Either way, unless it's Qigong, then they do some egregor-related aspects. However, in all of these practices people build up their energy either way. Unless the person is not building up their energy, they won't have any vision. This is a fact. How to build up the frequencies correctly? Is it… Just a moment, I'll just add something now. There are some people who say, these energy practices are just bullshit, and all that's seen over there is just, oh, it's just stupid stuff. You look at that person who is, say, a businessman, and a successful one, and he has all of his fields locked, the shells are really in integrity, no breakthrough in them, the energy aspect is built in order, all is up and running, and he's been riding this feeling of drive and groove for half of his life. Do you see this point? He's been pumping up continuously, but he doesn't realize that this feeling of strength and being filled with energy, when he loses this feeling, it's uncomfortable for him. And when he gets seated and focused, and there it comes, again to let him take the energy from the earth. Or maybe he's pumped up with the parents, or otherwise having the proper genealogy. These are not the degrading programs that he builds up for himself, which is usually the case with the people. I mean, the grandfather boosts it up, the father did too, and the offspring also boosts it up. But with him the opposite is true. He takes the best, the strength of some kind. But he tells the people, what? Energy aspects? Oh, come on. However, the moment you communicate with him, you can immediately realize he has has a vision, actually. Whenever you tell him, but how about this aspect? And he replies, ah, yes, of course, but I thought everybody has it. Or he goes like, well, most probably everybody has it. And you reply, what? Everybody? This is energy vision, because you see things that don't exist. Well, yeah, I thought it just my imagination, my make-believe. I tell him, but look, you use it as a basis, sort of this knowledge, right? He replies, well, of course I do, because I see. Am I a fool or what? Do you see this point? I mean, given this, he can go like, oh, all this energy teaching of yours, it's all nothing but bullshit. Because his very life, his perception of strength, it all tells that the potential is in a place already. Or as Castaneda says, a person who strives for knowledge by himself is most probably a leaky strainer. Person full of strength won't look for any more strength or knowledge. He has it all already. He has a job already, has a wife, he has everything he needs. He is fulfilled. Everything is okay with him, no leakages. What does he need any knowledge for? All this energy teaching of yours is all bullshit. There, I have it already. The best things in this world are love and beauty. Subscribe, thumbs up and click the bell. If you don't want to miss new videos. Everything is light on.